<laughs> Quite on set. <laughs> G'day legends, so today we're doing something a little bit different. We are in the backyard. Um, coronavirus has hit Australia, so Matt from Explore Life has put out a little competition for everyone around Australia to uh, hashtag camp for corona. So that's what I'm doing. Bex here as well, we've got Oscar floating around barking at everything. But um, yeah, t tonight I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I do a lot of camp cooking. Um, if you've seen on my Instagram, I do every now and then uh, Sunday cooking with Az. Um, so today we're gonna do similar thing. It is Sunday, um, but yeah, backyard cooking with Az. So let's get into it. Tonight we are going to cook lamb shanks in the old crusty camp oven. So it's a pretty simple recipe. Um, of course, you need a couple of lamb shanks. Um, I don't know, I've got four potatoes. One onion, because that's all I could find in the fridge because they're a hot commodity at the moment. Three carrots. And five and a tiny bit of cloves of garlic, um, chicken stock, oil, salt and pepper. I've got some gravy, Gravox gravy, um, some thyme, and well, I've got red wine, but it's two blends, so I've just poured two old red wines into half a bottle of red wine. And then of course, you're gonna need your camp oven. I've just cleaned mine out on the fire, so uh, it's a little bit warm. Let's uh, rip in and uh, yeah, get ready for dinner. So first thing, I'm just gonna quickly, hey, inside. Bloody dog. So firstly, we're just gonna quickly prep everything. You don't really, I don't know, need to do too much prepping. Um, I'm just going to cut up the potatoes into quarters, keep it easy. Then the carrots, I'll just chop them up into, I don't know, quarters as well I guess. There's only two of us eating tonight in the backyard because we're so, what, socially distancing and socially isolating ourselves. Onion. With the onion, if I had a few more, I'd, I'd chop them up into quarters, but I might just thinly slice these because um, when I make the jus or gravy, if you want to get fancy, um, yeah, I'll mix it all in with that, throw it on at the end. Garlic, skin those as well, and I don't know, maybe chop them into, into thin slices or chuck them in whole, uh, it's up to you. I'm just crushing, crushing these just to, you know, release those flavors from the inside a bit better. And I'm feeling a bit lazy. There we go, that's about all it is for prep. Doesn't take too long, maybe less than 10 minutes. Uh, what I'm gonna do is get the camp oven on the fire to warm it up, get it boiling hot. And um, we're gonna brown, quickly brown the Lamb shank. There we go. Let that warm up for a, 
a minute there and then we'll brown them. Ooh, there you go, as you can see, piping hot. Just gonna throw a little bit of olive oil in. Throw the lamb shanks in. <laughs> yes. Kill me for burning more grass. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll throw a heap underneath and then a heap on top. There we go, now we sit back, have a couple of beers over the next hour. You will just smell that boiling away and it it's gonna smell awesome around the campfire. So yeah, let's sit back and relax, eh? So we're about an hour in and it's time to check check the lamb shanks and throw in the veggies. Let's go have a look. So I've just been topping up the coals every now and then. What we'll do is we'll get rid of some of them. And we'll have a look inside. Boiling away beautifully. I threw some extra coals underneath. So we'll just throw the veggies in. Get them in there, a bit of extra coal, and throw that back on. And I reckon another hour will be done. Alright. So we've been cooking for about two and a half hours now. So we're gonna brush off all these coals and see what we're working with. Safety first. I don't wanna burn my hands. It is looking bloody beautiful in here. Oh, Alright, let's go over here and check it out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it's looking really nice in here. And I think that gravy's actually thickened it up on its own. Rightio. Let's plate it up, see what it looks like. Look at that. It's just falling apart. Mm. And like I was saying before, because I put the gravy, um, the Gravox gravy granules into uh, the mix at the start, it's kind of turned it into a a beautiful little gravy already and you won't have to put any flour into it to thicken it up all right there you go so it's a pretty easy meal to cook up you can cook it up for i don't know grab four lamb shanks and you got four people um yeah you don't need this many veggies but it's just what i grabbed out of the fridge 
So yeah, we're gonna tuck into this. It smells bloody awesome. So what I'll do is I'll leave all the ingredients and everything I've used in this um, lamb shank recipe in the description below. And um, yeah, go give it a crack yourself out in the camp, out in the uh, bush sometime. And uh, yeah, let me know how you go. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to do plenty more of these videos for you. Let me know what you think. Cheers. <laughs> Have you tasted the lamb shanks yet, Beck? Not yet. You want me to taste them? Give us a um, review. Carrots are delicious. 10 out of 10. <laughs> you ready? So you're not, you're not upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. Recommend it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Verdict is in. 10 out of 10. Pretty bloody good. Use a knife the right way around. <laughs>